Well, we're out in the middle of the fields. Joe's got the combine, or the combine, the tractor running. And now he's taking a look to see just how everything is. Oh, I see. He's got to get that device off of there. I should have been helping. Got a wheat field over here, an ice cream wheat field. Wheat's looking pretty good. You can see the rows there. Drilled in. And you can tell that this crop was drilled in. See the rows going right down the line. And look out across this field at these bales. Man, oh man, some of them, I don't know if you could call them bales if you're from my generation and never been back on the farm much. The bales we had were square and you could use a couple of hooks in your hand, pick one up, throw it on the trailer. These? No, no way. This thing is almost as tall as me. In fact, walking up to it, you can see that it's a little higher than my head. And I think I've shrunk down to about 5'7". So this bale is apparently a circle at about 5'6". And this particular type of hay is pretty coarse. So it won't be as heavy as some of the, grain, some of the hay that is closely uh, knit like alfalfa. But you couldn't handle that thing without machinery. And this is the kind of machinery that will do it. That fork is being lifted up at this point. Come up underneath there. Lift that bale up. Keep it tilted like that. Spin around to the trailer that you're going to haul the bales out on. Truck, whatever. Tilt that baby. Lower it a little bit. Tilt that thing down. Put those bales on one by one. And boy, can they ever put a load on those big trucks. They're almost scary when you meet them on the road. And I suppose most of you have met one at one time or another. Joe just signaled that he'll pick one up just to kind of show us how it works. Yeah, yeah. Tail end bounced a little bit. There's some real weight out there. Thank you, Joe, for moving them on. Show us how it's done. Look out across that field. I have no idea how many bales are out there. Do you have an idea, Joe? Well, I'm hoping there's 250 at least. You're hoping there's at least 250. How many acres is it? It's 79 acres. And a 79 acre field. And you drilled this in at what time of year? Uh, in, uh, in July. In July. Yeah. And uh, it's been cut how long? Uh, let's see. It's been cut about a week or 10 days. Yeah. And is that kind of a normal growing season? Or I know it's been a little wetter than some years. Well, we had two good rains out here, and that's what did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know in this country sometimes you get a good crop, sometimes you don't. Yeah. And you, you, this is strictly watered by God. You don't have any irrigation on here, do you? That's right. It's just what the good Lord gives me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's the same with that wheat field over there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is that your wheat, too? Yes. Uh-huh. Sure does look nice. Yeah, the antelope like it, anyway. <laughs> Now, Joe pointed out, in fact, I could see one of them moving over there, way across the corner of the field, on the very angle that I'm pointing that camera, there's at least three antelope that I've seen, there may be more. And Joe says they do a lot of damage, but the fish and game, wildlife, people, the hunters, they like it. Joe's not too sure he likes it. In fact, you don't like it at all, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> Got so many conflicting interests in our world. And, you know, a lot of people think it's a wonderful thing. But if you're trying to make a living growing these crops out here, it's not a wonderful thing. Yeah, they're not paying the bill. 
They're not paying the bill. Joe, is this the uh, country that was blown away in the 30s? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I've said on other tapes how lucky I was that when my dad had to leave this country because he didn't have any job, how lucky we were able to go back near Enid, Oklahoma and not head for California. But a lot of people from here went to California. But where, where were you guys when the Dust Bowl hit? We were north of here in, in uh, Morton County, Kansas, northwest of Elkhart, about 25 miles. And did any of your relatives or uh, neighbors have to pull clear out during oh, that time? Yeah, ne nearly, I don't know, you know, how many people was here to start with, because I was just pretty little, but, uh, you know, a lot of people left. There's a lot of empty houses. Yep. I'm going to cut it off because I think we're going to run out of tape. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right.